in sunny California and we're at the Beijing kickoff party for Shannon Roberry, her friends, family, coaches, relatives, everybody's gathered here to wish her the best. Oh, yeah. Whoops, there's Shannon herself right there. Did you hear the kids? <laughs> Watching Olympic trials highlights. Yeah. Let's go see if we can get a few questions answered. Shannon. Should I look at the camera? No, you're like Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> I want to know how do you sleep? On your back, your side, or your stomach? <laughs> Interesting. Never been asked that one before. Um, never on my stomach because I always have to kind of crane my. Or, get a kink in my neck but probably my favorite would be on my side then sometimes on the back but on my side with lots of pillows as many as I can get <laughs> um, I'm right-handed but I'm um, ambidextrous or ambidextrous yes so yeah that explains a good point I have another question for you cuz um, are you excited about racing in Beijing of course. I'm very excited about going to Beijing and racing there. Um, I think it's always cool when you can race against the best people in the world and see how you how you compare to them. So I think it's going to be really fun to just get out there and test myself. I have a question. What was your first race like and how did you feel? My first race was in high school, um, cross country. JV race that I had been training for about a week for. Um, I just remember thinking it was fun. I went out near the front, didn't know what I was doing, didn't know what the course was, so kind of was looking around trying to follow the next girl, the girl next to me. Um, and I just found out that it was really fun to compete and to be in the race. And um, um, and yeah, that I just enjoyed the sport. At that point, was it more fun or less fun than Irish dancing? Um, they're so they're similar and and yet so different. Like I really enjoyed the technical aspect of dancing and the creative aspect where you get to really you know focus on um, you know foot placement and um, you know there's just a lot of different aspects of dancing that you get to play with and have fun with. And um, one of the things in the last year is I've focused um, increased my focus on drills and that sort of thing. It sort of felt like getting back to dancing to really work on that technical aspect and. Um, so, I don't know if one is, if I could say I like one better than the other, but um, I think they, they're very complimentary. Hi, I'm Deb. I'm from San Francisco. I have a question for our Olympian, Shannon Roberg. Shannon, have you ever had athlete's foot? <laughs> <laughs> and well, if I, you have, how did you cure it? Well, I'm an athlete, so I, you know, obviously my my feet are athletes feet so you'd have to be you know more specific okay well have you ever suffered from you know that itchy scratchy athlete's foot and if you have how did you cure it well, i've heard about that sort of thing um i think they have powders and creams and even like toenail stuff that you can put on fabulous yeah that's great so check your lo local grocery store okay great medicine excellent, out. excellent. <laughs> thank you what's the question what was it like running in Paris? It was a lot of fun. Um, the stadium was huge, so there were tons of people in it. Um, just a really cool experience getting to race um, in front of that big of a crowd, and I think Beijing will be even more fun. It's I think, supposed to be 91,000 people or something at the national stadium, so, so it should be cool. <laughs> she keeps answering the question. Wait, what's your... See, she wants see. to know what Shannon's favorite color is. Favorite color? Yes. Favorite color? I'm thinking salmon. <laughs> um, red because she's out in front. Aggressive. Gold. Yeah, red, white, and blue. Um, How about I, gold? I actually do like gold, gold a lot. <laughs> um, I would say either blue or gold. Maybe the two together. Blue or gold? Um, Yes. Hey, we just thought of another one. Shannon, do you like Chinese food? 
I do, in fact, like Chinese food. Um, broccoli beef, I think, was my favorite growing up because it didn't burn my taste buds. Um, but now I'm into the spicier things, uh, a little more variety. But yes, big fan. Excellent. I know. Can I ask Shannon? This is your mother. <laughs> And I just want to know, do you remember how to use your chopsticks? Yeah. <laughs> I do know how to use my chopsticks. I have graduated from the training chopsticks with the paper wedge in between them to full-grown adult chopsticks, and I can use them even on rice. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> that might okay. handy. Yes. Uh, what's your favorite food? <laughs> um, dessert. Does that count? <laughs> um, uh, she's been asked if she's nervous. Um, do I ever get nervous? <laughs> Does no, she ever no, get no, nervous? you don't want to say that. No, no. When you know you're oh. <laughs> Yes. Um, I think for this particular race, I'm just excited to go into it. I mean, I think I'll get nervous the day, maybe probably the day of the race, you know, as you start putting on the uniform and all of a sudden you're realizing what you're actually about to do. But um, I think day in, day out, you just kind of take it what one little step at a time and, you know, don't, as long as you don't think too far ahead of yourself, then it's manageable and it's something that you just have to, yeah, you just have to stay focused on a daily basis and, um, and that kind of keeps me motivated and focused and keeps me from getting nervous. Excellent. If you don't mind, I'll ask a kind of a international track question. Okay. What does uh, the recent revelations with the Russian runners, does that mean anything to you or not? Um, I mean, I think I, it, nothing changes for me in that I still have to train as hard as I always have. I still have to get myself to the final. I need to race well in the final. Um, you know, I'm glad that there's uh, increased effort to keep the sport clean and... Um, but, but yeah, I mean, nothing changes for me. Right. I have the same mentality I always did going into it. Thank you. <laughs> What's your dad? Dan. Dan. Nice to meet you. If yeah. you were an ice cream flavor, which ice cream flavor would you be and why? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have, I, when I was younger, I would have said something like chocolate. But, you know, it's, it's eh, sort of plain. A little cliche. A little cliche. Definitely not vanilla, because... Plain. Yeah, and and you know you never really want to be associated with vanilla. It's sort of boring. So I would have to say maybe definitely something with mix-ins. When Cold Stone came around, mm. I was a happy girl. <laughs> so I mean I could go with like cake batter with chocolate chips and peanut butter. I think that would be my ideal flavor. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everyone wanted to know. So. That was the most important question. Nice Just passing yeah, along yeah. the wishes of the fans. <laughs> So, do you have any parting words before you get on the plane? Uh, um, well, for the next two days or three days, how, I don't even know how long till I leave, but I'm going to be just getting my stuff together, and I think I think it won't really sink in until I'm sitting on the plane and uh, flying <laughs> very fast to to China. Um, but At this point, what's your guess over and under on the number of pairs of socks you need to pack? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, they do have laundry services at the Olympic Village. They won't fold your stuff for you, but they will wash it. So I'm thinking maybe for a 20-day trip, like 10 pairs. 10 pair, Good call. Cut the difference. You know, cut Excellent. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Bye. <laughs>